In this session, we're going to look at how you import media into the HeavyM infrastructure. So first thing I do is I drag this icon in here and that gives me a nice little quad straight in the middle of my projection area. So I'm just gonna make that a little bit bigger for us so we can see it a little bit better. Okay, and I'm not gonna to worry too much about it being perfect for now. Um, I've said that and now I'm trying to make it perfect, aren't I? Okay, let me click that. So once I click that, that's activated. So now I have all of these icons here so I can have input media, a live cam, siphon in, shader and text. And we're gonna use all of these during this course. And then I have some extra warping options here. But for now, if I click the plus icon, and I'll just go down here and I'll go to my desktop and I'll import a little dance film that I made there. So already that's in there, so that's in the software. So I've got my start guide, I've got my time, I've got my beginning, I can put that on extra rotation so it keeps rotating. And all I do is I click play and I get this icon here, but that's fine for now because that's just telling me the type of um, interface I want with it. So I'm just gonna click okay at the bottom there and you'll see my media is playing inside of that quad. So it's there. So that's how you import media into Heavy M. Let me just make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. And as you can see in real time, as I'm moving the handles on the edge, my video is moving to correspond with that. So there we go. So if I just pull that down there. So again, I can map media to surfaces. So the surfaces might not necessarily be straight on. So I'm just gonna copy that, move that across. And there we go. And this is replicative of when I created an installation room. So I had a projector in a corner facing out and I created obviously different films, but I created a space that was immersive. Just copy this one again. That was immersive within the environment. And that was really simply by importing media, creating these quads, copying them, moving them around and filling the empty spaces within my projected area. So I'm gonna do this really quick just so you can see this effect. Oops, excuse me, just grab that one by mistake. Just so you can see this effect. And the way you grab your um, input media is you just select it and grab it. You can see it's quite fiddly sometimes, so you can select them by mistake and you can move them across. Now, I have black lines at the bottom of my film, so it's not marrying up perfectly. So let me just play with that a little bit. So as you can see in the quads, they're marrying up, but because this is a, um, 69 with black widescreen bars on, it's treating it all as one piece of media. So the black widescreen bars are part of my film and heavy M can't differentiate between those and the footage. So at the minute we've got these black bars, but you can see how the effect could work and you get a sense of how you could create a really immersive projection space really simply just by importing media and then playing around with that media and changing it and resizing it and so on and so forth. Okay guys, so that's how you import media. We'll keep looking at this um, import system a little bit later and we'll look at how you siphon in and we'll look at text and shaders and so on as we progress through this course. Any questions, do get in touch and um, otherwise I'll see you in the next session.